Regardless whether she's singing about relationships, politics, or Hollywood, and it's helped her sell more than 22 million albums worldwide. Please welcome, for the first time on The View, the fabulous Pink. <laughs> Congratulate you, Pink, and I want to get this right can't because. Can't see up my skirt, can you? No, <laughs> just cross the leg. You got it. No, we'll tell you. That's good. We will let you know it looks good. Thank now, you. so what? Want to congratulate you. Yeah. So what is the number one hit on the Billboard's Hot 100, yes. and it's the first number one solo hit song of your career. Congratulations. Yeah. Now, you caught this album. It's called Fun House, but you said that this is one of the most vulnerable albums to date of your career. Why is that? It sort of is. It's, I mean, I'm pretty out, I'm pretty out there and open yeah. all the time. Um, just never been in this spot before, <laughs> these kinds of songs, but it's, it's schizophrenia at its best. But I want I mean, truly, I mean, I think you're one of the most courageous performers out there, and I, I have such respect for your, your art, and in this song, so what? You talk about your divorce. I mean, you're about as yeah. open as you get. You're right. And you're, even your, your ex-husband, Carrie Hart, he is in the video for this song. How do you he maintain is. that friend? I think that's admirable. How yummy it's, he is. So how do you maintain a friendship? So yummy. What's the secret? So that? It's, it's us married. strangling each other. I was one of the ones. I, I paid attention to you guys dating and married, and I was so yeah. heartbroken when you guys Aww. broke up. But you got you say you're, you're best friends with your husband. We're good. I mean, yeah, we're really yummy. We're solid. It's just we confuse our families. We confuse ourselves. But... It's, it's, we're friends. And you're unafraid to, to reveal so much. I mean, even to the point in your video, there's one shot of you where you just are naked to the, to the press, yeah, right? I was kind of, uh, Just right on the paparazzi. What is, what's the, talk about the symbolism there, because I know you that think a lot about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're having it's more fun than you face. right now. Yeah, that was uh, 7 a.m. <coughs> in front of 20 extras. I had basically flesh-colored thongs on and a gold necklace uh -huh. and a shot of tequila. <laughs> and, <laughs> And yeah, it's just me kind of, uh, you know, it's sort of a, I, I don't know how to say it without cursing. Um, we have a seven we have a second, second delay. delay so okay, it's we'll... taking the piss out of the media a little bit. Yeah. It's like, you want crazy? Here's crazy. Right. Um, Cause they, they want you to fail so much. Mm -hmm. um, they don't look for how beautiful you are. They look for cellulite. They don't look, you know, yeah, it's like, yeah. you want crazy? Here's That's crazy. Right. Here's they all can't, of it. They can't take what you, what you don't own, and I feel like you own who you are oh, yeah. completely, and I, I admire that. I introduced myself yes. to it. I heard that you <laughs> might be playing Janis Joplin in a biopic. Is that true? That was not happening. Oh, no? No. <laughs> <laughs> I think you'd be great at that. Thank you. Yeah. You like to talk politics, too. You know, you're fearless oh. about that as well. I am. Um, you took a song, you wrote a song called Dear Mr. President, in which you took aim at, at President Bush's stance on insurance issues, including gay rights in the war in Iraq, and you're not afraid to voice your opinion, no. right? Good. I feel like I earned the right to my opinion. My father's a Vietnam veteran, my stepmother's a Vietnam veteran, my brother currently serves in the Air Force, and I pay taxes out my butt. <laughs> A lot of people think artists should, you know, shut up and sing, but no. it's no. just not my style. <laughs> no. And your father is a, is a Repo Bush Republican, right? He was. Not anymore. There so. aren't many left. No. <laughs> <laughs> so do you get into fights with him? Uh, or did you? Uh, we decided a couple of years ago to just be father and daughter and not really mm -hmm. talk about it's certain things. It's like Elizabeth things. and me. We're lesbian lovers. <laughs> You know, it's, you know, despite what you read, <laughs> you have been really, you have really, really been outspoken when it comes to these young girls in Hollywood who try to dumb it down because they think it's cute, they think it's going to be popular. And a couple years ago, you had parodied Paris Hilton, Lindsay Lohan, Mary Kate Olsen, and Jessica Simpson in a music video that you did <laughs> for your song, and the song was called "Stupid Girls." So, yes. <laughs> now when you did these girls, so did you not, did you not like them, or what? Why did you parody them? No. I, I don't I don't dislike them personally. <laughs> I, 
I was using them as a very, very easy example yeah. of uh, sort of <laughs> cultural <laughs> moment, movement. <laughs> <laughs> so on point. Yes, so on point. Yes. 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 So if there's any doubt, if there is any doubt whether there is intelligence in music still, this is the girl you want to look for. Don't go anywhere because when we come back, Pink is going to perform her new song, So What? We'll be back.